Cash versus Standard VAT Accounting brought to you by Boogles Bookkeepers. If you like the channel, please do subscribe, like and share. So we're just going to look at the difference between the two as it's a question often that people have and are confused by. So cash accounting, when you are registered for VAT, if you're on a cash based system, what that means is that you pay VAT on your sales when your customers pay you and you reclaim VAT on your purchases when you have paid your supplier. So it's cash as in no cash when until cash has exchanged hands, no VAT is payable. So if you're on a cash based system, you're only going to pay over the VAT once the bill has been paid. Now to be or anyone can be on the cash VAT accounting system as long as the turnover is 1.35 million or less. So it's optional. So you don't have to be on it, but anyone whose turnover is under 1.35 million can be on it. And in most cases, it will help with your cash flow because you're only going to pay over that on an invoice after you've received the cash for it. So for many small businesses, it's the better scheme to be on because you don't want to have to pay over that that you've not had the money for. Standard accounting, the exact opposite of the cash accounting. So when you're on the standard accounting for VAT, you pay the VAT on your sales as soon as the invoice is raised, as soon as it's received. And we go by the date of the invoice. And you can reclaim VAT on your purchases as soon as your supplier bill is received. So if you tend to be in a business whereby you're receiving or you're paying out a lot maybe it's in intensive as in you, there's a lot of bills supplier bills that come in and you're using you're having to you know perhaps buy materials and turn that into some sort of product or something some sort of goods and then you're selling it on perhaps in those cases being on standard um, accounting could be useful and if you want to know which you're on which some people don't know but upon registration it should be clear and when you join at the start of a VAT accounting period it should be clear if you have an account system it will be on the system but whoever set up that system would have chosen one either cash or standard so where they got the information from should have been upon registration now you can leave the cash accounting if that's not working for you at the end of a VAT accounting period and put yourself on standard but you don't have to but if you are going to switch from one to the other always do so at the end of a VAT accounting period and always remember that you must go on to the standard scheme, the standard VAT accounting, if you're no longer eligible for the cash accounting. So if you hit your if and if in a 12 month period your sales turnover is more than the 1.35 million, then you've got to go on to standard. There's no um you know haggling, no negotiation. And if you do want to be on cash accounting and you're under that threshold of 1.35 million, you can go and be on cash accounting. You don't have to tell HMRC, you don't have to request or ask permission. Just do so from the start of the following accounting period. Any other questions, do email them in to admin at booglesltd.com. Brought to you by Boogles Bookkeepers. If it's been useful, please do subscribe, like and share the channel.